Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package to open for you. This one comes by way of Jacob Lundquist Design. Jacob is a good dude and a friend, and I can't wait to check out what's in here. It's some new offerings from him. I believe uh, one is a collaboration piece, and one is a license piece. I can't remember what's going on in here. Um, I got the Jack Wolf Knives, Little Bro Jack, and the Flow Party Camo Carbon, and S90V. Very sweet knife. Loving it. And let's see. We have a pouch from Kaiser. So we have two models here. Um, and I honestly totally forget the names of them i think this one's the vault and this is a qsp prototype and then this one is the banish and this is from qsp this is just a vanish slip and if you can't tell this is the vanish design so let's talk about that one first i guess i'll grab a vanish i have right here i actually have two um that's a Sagaha version, and then here's the uh, Topo version of the Vanish. If you can't tell, I love this model. It's uh, a really, really good little slip joint. I love the ergonomics on it. I love the size. I was just saying how much I love that little bro jack, and it's similar. It's just that size factor that's just really fun to uh, carry and use for EDC if you're somebody who doesn't need overbuilt knives. So um yeah they also have this one in stonewash with topo and then these uh come without any uh milling or anything and they're just like the plain these are the two versions now he started working with kaiser on a this is kaiser right pretty sure yes kaiser on a button lock version and it's called the banish so you have that button lock mechanism there and that is a big difference from the Vanish, right? So um, you don't have a slip joint anymore, but you still have pretty much the same ergonomics here, which is nice. You're probably looking at 154 CM or uh, it's going to be either 154 CM or S35 VN. I'm guessing 154 CM. It'll be on the more affordable end. It does seem on the thicker side. It's got uh, full liners. Um, so they have full liners on there and there's a front flipper. How about Dem Apples, little mini front flipper, little, uh, hole for deployment, left hand flick there. Now, obviously this is a button lock, so you don't get a super strong, uh, spring plus the front flipper. So it's a little hard for me to flick. Um, if you give it the old fire, it'll, uh. It'll come out of there if you're not holding it weird. There you go. <laughs> it's just hard for me to not touch the blade there. Left-handed, it makes more sense. I'm just I'm just left-handed. Um, I like the clip. So this is going to be an affordable model, I believe. Um, he did say they were changing something. I think it was the blade-to-handle ratio. Yes, yes. I believe he said... They're going to extend the tip out. So the blade's going to get longer to fill this up. I think he told me that because he probably knew I was going to point it out. Um, so that's a good thing. It's going to have a little bit of a longer blade, which is going to match that handle a little better, which is never a bad thing. I got to say this front flipper is really fun. Um, very fun. It's got the perfect spring for that front flipper. I mean, you can see it just snaps, pops into place. That's very cool. I like this quite a bit. Reversible clip, yes. Um, and there you go, I'm already getting used to that reverse flick. I wonder if I can thumb flick it. That's gonna be a difficult task, but you can slow roll it with the thumb pretty easily. So that's nice. Let's see, that's gonna be hard left-handed, right-handed. Yeah, 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 you can do it. You just gotta give it a little bit of a wrist pop. But yeah, there's the banish, very cool. Very cool. Pretty sure this is a prototype. Yep, this is prototype on there. So they're still working on this, which is cool. 
I'm glad to see it. Glad to see it. So there you go on that one. Still love the Vanish, one of my favorite knives this year. I really still hope he does a um, S90V run or something like that. I just think a little box cutter like that would be perfect. All right, this is the Vault, I believe. And this is from QSP. Now he did mention, ah, what the, f whoa, okay. Um, he did he did mention that both of these are his personal prototypes and he has used the shit out of them to test them. So basically pardon any scratches or marks or anything like that. That's because they're being tested, which is awesome. Now, first thing I noticed is the spring on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. And apparently this is their first axis lock model, uh, crossbar lock model from QSP. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't even know if I can reverse flick it. It's such a strong spring. Hold on. Now it's really hard with the clip on backwards. You can see they got the rear mounted clip here so you can flip that over. Um, there we go. So I can do it if it's on the other side. Let's see. I'm sure he won't mind if I flip the clip over. He probably wants, he wants, it's for science. He wants to know if it'll reverse. Now it's a T6. I'd love to see T8s all around. I think he mentioned something about that. Um, anytime you can do T8s instead of T6s, uh, I'm on board for it. So let's get that straight. There we go. Sorry, I was holding that weird. And tighten her down. Now, anytime you have a crossbar lock, you have to have reversible clips because... It's just how you hold the knife. Like, that's how you operate the knife. You hold the clip to get up leverage up here, right? If you don't have that clip, it makes it extremely difficult to grab on and pull these um, tabs back. So I'm glad he thought of the reversible clip. And there we go. You can reverse flick it lefty. I just have to get some grip on that clip. So she said, that made no sense. It is strong, man. I... Ugh, now I can't get it. Hold on. I have never said this before. This might be too strong. This spring, it's almost like it locks, honestly. It's almost like it locks. Because it has to round a corner, right? I mean, that's kind of how this works. Um, the way a crossbar lock works has to, like, kind of round a corner, I feel like. And if you make that too strong, it almost like locks it in place. It's, I mean, I can't believe I just said that, but the thumb flick feels pretty damn good, but I would dial it down just a touch because uh, it really does feel like maybe it's a little too strong because I can't thumb flick it well or reverse flick it well. But then I'll get the right side and I'll get it. So I don't know. It's weird. Interesting. I like it. Um, it's heavy. This has some heft to it. So there must be full steel liners in there. Oh, this is all steel, apparently. Is it? So there's no titanium on this. So that's going to add a lot of weight. Even the clip is steel. Interesting choice. So I don't know if that's just for prototyping. They're trying to keep it budget. I don't know. But titanium would be cool. Um, that would knock the weight down on this big time because it, that is a factor. It's a little heavy. Um, I like the lock bars. I, I don't know how they're mounted in there. Um, you know, usually there's a screw out here holding them in. But um, these are in there without that. It must be internal, obviously. So I don't know if that makes disassembly difficult or not. You just take the screw out and... I don't know, maybe, maybe there's some kind of cool way that it disassembles without having to mess with the springs like crazy. That's always annoying. Uh, Centering's pretty good on it. No play, no rock. I could have sworn this had a flipper tab, but maybe that was a design change. Um, and maybe that's why the spring's so damn strong, because it was like a flipper before. <laughs> uh, I like it. I like it. I got to say the thumb flick is one of the better thumb flicks. It's probably the best I've felt on a crossbar lock because it's such a strong spring. You get that nice pop, right? Um, very, very cool there. And then, you know, the Banish, baby. It's a button lock Banish. The Banish. 
I actually thought about doing the same thing when, uh, cause Kaiser's doing a button lock version of our mash design. And I was thinking about calling it the bash. <laughs> but then I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. We always do alcohol stuff. But vanish and banish, that does sound good. So props to you, Jacob, on that. I really like this one. So good job, dude. These are very cool. Um, so we'll see if I do, uh, like, I might throw these into a rapid review or something. Um, I'll see what he wants me to do. If he wants me to, uh, do I don't know, use them or something and give more feedback. I'm not sure exactly what he's looking for. Um, you know, feedback wise, I would love to see titanium on this across the board. I would love to see an actual belt satin or a, um, or just a stone wash or something. I'm not a big fan of these machined polished sort of satins. They, they really fingerprint up, um, the tabs. So the tabs are good, man. They got really good grip on there. Um, they feel pretty solid. The only thing I could think of is some people might struggle to get a grip on them because they don't bow out much at the bottom. I don't know. They do a little bit. But if they had a little bit more of a bow here, a little bit thicker down at the bottom, it might be easier to grab. But I really like them. Love the CT8 all around. I would love to get rid of my Carta. I just don't like my Carta. And I don't really like this style of micarta in general uh if this was like weave carbon fiber or fat carbon or even g10 or something i'd probably be more into it but it is cool um i like that it has a backspacer usually you see standoffs on something like this but if you're gonna stick with steel maybe switch to standoff so you can reduce that weight because it really that's one thing it's just a bit heavy um grind feels good it's nice and tall i don't see any issue it almost has a recurve i don't think it does but kind of has that look it's a unique looking blade um the clip kind of bends over this way on the left side there uh don't oh okay hold on let's see what's going on there clips moving around a little bit did i not tighten it enough let me uh let me just check that Yeah, I think I just didn't tighten it up. Now it's straight down. That looks better. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, the other thing you could do versus making this spring lighter, because, you know, that's always an iffy situation there, messing with the spring, is maybe move the studs down and out a little bit, down and out, and then you'd have, you'd be farther away from that pivot. You'd probably get a stronger you probably get better leverage on it for it would make it feel a little bit softer which might be good because right now i will say even on the thumb even though i love it it does really like it's it's ready to rip the nail off of my off of my uh or the skin off of my nail it's that strong which normally i love so it, it you know it's interesting that i am saying that so Whatever that's worth. Um, I hate this logo right here. Just get rid of that. Put the triangle thing here. They have that triangle one, right? Instead of the QSP one. I'd much prefer that. Um, Got to have the Lundquist logo here. Love Jacob. Yeah, very cool. That's the vault. And then uh, the Banish. Um, you know, a little thinner would be nice. You know, you have the, the proud liners, so nested liners, just making them a little thinner would be nice. Again, not the biggest fan of micarta, but I do actually like this black micarta. This black canvas is really nice. If I if anybody's going to do micarta, Kaiser should be doing micarta. They know what they're doing over there. But it would be cool to see fat carbon and stuff like that on this as well. Of course, you know, I'm going to say that on everything. Um, the flipper tab's good. Uh, surprisingly, I thought it was going to be too short, but it pops, man. It really rockets out of there. And even with not the strongest detent, like that's the thing, you know, for the hole, I wouldn't mind it being a little stronger, um, but you don't want to make that front flipper harder to pop. So you, if you strengthen that, you got to bring that up a little bit. So I get it. Um, I do like it the way it is. And then you just get used to flicking it, you know. <laughs> Love the size. I like 
extending the blade a little bit it's cool um reversible clip is great i think we do have t8s on this one nope we have t6 again wait what is this yeah we have t6 again so i'd love to see t8s everywhere um if you have to do t6s on the clip i get it but everywhere else i don't know it's not the huge deal just just saying if i had my druthers dems my druthers plunge grind looks pretty good actually yeah it looks good On the grind looks good. All right, them's my thoughts. There's my feedback. Um, always appreciate Jacob. Great dude. Like I said, support him if you can, guys. Pick up his models that are licensed. Pick up his direct models. Uh, follow him over on Instagram. Um, and uh, check out his uh, in-house work, like the Reichta. He's got that uh, multi-tool beard comb thing. I ordered one of those. I'm excited to get that. So, uh, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you, Jacob. Love you, man. I um, hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.